Welcome back to you. Today is Tuesday. I want to talk today about the family's computers. All right? Maybe the one that you're using, definitely the one that the kids are using. Where are they located? Chances are they're tucked back in the office or back in the kids' bedrooms and seems pretty par for the course today. What I'm going to advocate is you bring those computers out. Now, ideally, everybody's got a wireless laptop, internet connection, where you can quickly move things around. What's probably more realistic is there's a couple of desktops that are hardwired and plugged into the wall, not easily movable, right? So that makes the task more difficult. Now, aside from just having those computers in a centralized location, and why centralized? Just so that you increase the traffic and accountability, which is really the issue here. Want kids to know that they need to be responsible when they're using their computer, responsible for their internet use, responsible for what they're saying when they're sharing things online. It's a responsibility issue, which you know I'm big on, right? Responsible in the same way that they would need to be if they were using a chainsaw, right? Or a gallon of gasoline and a book of matches. Two items that we would never give kids unsupervised and maybe even supervised wouldn't give them. So I, I put them in the same category as the computer and why? Computers are just kind of new on the scene. We didn't have them, parents, today when we were younger. And because I've suddenly here, there really hasn't been any rules that have come along with them. Any set of expectations other than now everybody's got one. So it must be okay. Hmm. Well, I think that puts a certain level of expectation on parents today to kind of step in and become more knowledgeable about what their kids are doing online. You don't have to be a guru, but just to be there, to be acknowledged, right? So here's two ideas I want to share with you. One, parents of kids that are younger, all the way up until the middle school years, elementary to middle school. Take 10 minutes, just 10, 10 minutes to sit down next to your child and just watch what they're doing when they get online or when they're sitting down at the computer. What it does is it establishes a level of responsibility for you and for your child that they then kind of grow into as they get older. It right? lets them know that you know that you know, you're know you paying attention. Parents of kids older, middle school and high school years, you can't sit there and monitor your kids. Yeah? They're gonna give you a hard time, it's arguments, the whole thing. But once or twice a week, definitely sit down and ask the question, will you show me where you've been online? That's definitely within your right. This is not a right that they have. It's a privilege to be able to use the computer, not a right, a privilege. Remember that. And what you're looking for when you sit down, you want to see the browser's history, which is simply a list of all the websites they've been to. Okay, show me where you've been. If you're noticing significant gaps, like three, four days, and you know they've been online, that's a red flag. Now you need to have a discussion about what it means to be responsible when you're online. Okay, and that's what I really want to push for. Responsibility, not only on their part, but yours. Right? You're giving them this tool. It's like a chainsaw. So they need to be responsible when using it. Okay. Uh, a quick bit on uh, like the Net Nanny and other monitoring programs. Garbage. Why? Sure, they're going to filter out a lot of the obvious stuff, right? The porn, the gambling, the something. Blah, blah, blah. But there aren't any programs now that are going to filter out everything so that you don't have to take any responsibility. At some point, something's gonna get through so they're not completely flawless, right? What it does is it removes you from having to be responsible as a parent, and that is what I have the real issue with. So, that's my bit on that, all right? Okay, have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday. I will see you back hopefully tomorrow. Take care.